welcome to this video a quick shout out to my subscribers we made 1000 if you're here for the first time feel free to do the same like subscribe and click the notification bell we are going to see how to construct an ellipse given the ratio of eccentricity and the distance between the directrix and the focus. We start by constructing a horizontal line and this line we have constructed acts as our axis. Mark off a random point along this horizontal line and draw a line perpendicular at this point. This becomes our directrix point D. We are then going to mark off the focal point using the distance given to us. And in this case, the distance is 45 millimeters. We then determine the vertex point V. This is done by dividing length DF in the given ratio of eccentricity. And so that means you are going to divide the length df in the ratio 2 to 3. Take note that when we count off the ratios, we start from the focus going towards the directrix. Mark off points along the axis line starting from a point after the vertex which is point V. These points can have equal distances apart or they may not. Just make sure that when you mark off these points they can stretch far enough to get you your required ellipse. At a convenient distance below the axis line, draw a line that is parallel to it. Where this line cuts our directrix line, mark off the point V. From the point V you have marked, you are going to measure VD along the horizontal line and measure VF along the vertical line. Project perpendicular lines from the two points you have marked. The perpendicular lines drawn meet at a point. Draw a line from V through it. Just make sure it stretches as far up as possible so that you are able to get the marking points you will need for your ellipse. We are now going to draw lines at the points we marked off. These lines are going to be parallel to the directrix. They are drawn above and below the axis line. When we draw them, just make sure that they touch our line that we drew below because we need to be using those different heights from that line.
we are now going to determine the points of the ellipse. This is done from each of the points you have marked off and drawn the lines. How we do it is by measuring the height of each line drawn from our horizontal line below to the cross-cutting line. When we get that height, use that as a radius, go to point F and mark off along the line up and down. You are going to do this for the rest of the points. That is point 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and lastly, 13. The divisions you make will first go outwards, but in the long run will converge. These are the divisions you are going to be joining using freehand. Thank you for watching.